Uh, yes, I'm doing my analysis on uh, Sir Ken Robinson. Uh, he was talking about how the education system kills the creativity of our children. Now, he started by giving us that as the what is, how the education system today is, is mostly focused on language arts and math. Well, now, while that's good, uh, he thinks, which brings the contrast, that our children should be given the opportunity to develop the fullness of their character in their education, not just language and math, but also the creative arts like uh, music and dance. And he, he builds this contrast. He gives us a little bit of what is and how the shape of our high schools and our colleges are. And then he builds it up and says, but what if it was like this? What if we could give our children the opportunity to be fully uh, functioning beings and, and people? Now, he captures the audience by starting with this question. Like, he shows us his passion for education, but he says, but don't we all have a passion for education? Don't we all care about what we learn? Don't we all want to be fully functional beings, not just logical, but also being able to create and, and realize how much power we have in that? You know, and he, he captures with that by bringing people and connecting them, but he does it in a way like he's not really talking to us. It's not a lecture. Like I felt like I was at his home. I felt like he was talking to me like we were friends, you know, and he, he played with us a lot by giving us uh, funny stories and um uh, there, there was one particular story where he was talking about how women are more multitaskers because there's a certain part of their brain that's bigger. He was saying like his wife, she can uh, be cooking food and telling the children what to do if the TV's on and then she's painting the walls at the same time. And he was saying how he struggles when he cooks, like he wants the door closed, no children, no distractions while he's frying some eggs. Just please, just give me some space. I need to fry my eggs. See, he, he told a story there. He had us laughing. But at the same time, uh, he was he was using that as he was developing his passion for education. And he gave us this big dream, um, this big dream that we should be fully functional, not just logical, but creative. And that that deals with some of the, the Ten Commandments. Those are three that I just listed. And as and like I was saying, I felt like I was at his home at, at somebody's home. When you're listening to them talk, it's not a speech. It's like like we're one. You know, I'm just I'm just receiving and he's just sharing or the other way around, like what's going on now? I'm giving to you and you're receiving from my passion, which really from watching his presentation at the end of it, at two o'clock in the morning, I was ready to sign my children up for dance lessons. And this is why this is the star moment that caught me. He tells this story about this girl who's her, teach, the, her teacher called her mom in. And her mom came down, and they all sat down and talked. It's like, your daughter, she won't stop moving. You know, we got to work on something. We got to do something to fix this. So they leave, and, th and they left some music on, and they come back, and they notice this girl's dancing, and the teacher's like, you need to take your daughter to a dance school. So long story short, she takes her daughter to a dance school, and her daughter develops into this professional dancer, travels the world, makes millions of dollars, because she didn't stifle and kill her creativity. She helped develop it. You know, like he was the the uh, Sir Ken Robinson. He was talking about how you know a lot of times people just tell their kids, just you, well, I'm gonna give you some medicine, some kind of downer, and you're just gonna sit down and be quiet and just let me be in peace. But instead, she helped build her daughter's creativity, which is which is genius. And like I said, by the end of by the end of the presentation, two o'clock in the morning, I was ready to call some dance studio, and say, hey, I want to sign my kids up. I want them to be fully functional creatures. Um, and those those are some things. Um, his, his use of storytelling, um, how he was able to captivate the crowd and not make them feel like it was a lecture, but make them feel like we were just sitting in his living room, 1,600 of us, however many it is, um, drinking some wine or scotch and, and talking about this passion about education. Uh, and and that, those are things that I want to develop, sharing my passion with people and doing it in such a way where they feel like they're at my home, like we're here together. I'm not talking down to you. But I'm sharing with you my heart, and, and hopefully by the end of that, um, you will desire some part um, to do the same thing. Um, so I, I suggest everybody who, who watches this take a watch, uh, take a take a watch, take a look at uh, Sir Ken Robinson's video and um, Benjamin Zander. Those two, they'll help you develop your your presentation skills and give you some great keys um, to living your life in the fullness that you can. Thank you very much. Have a good day.